bottom also had some kind of a drip system but the screen is so small the holes are so small and my experience with small holes is not good I'd rather have a bigger hole whole uh, screen so I went with this I may even stop using the screen I don't know all right tossed a little milk in here I don't know it tastes tastes strongly of catnip all right so I'm in the process of making a flashlight cozy it's really tight just barely fits on and I got a long way to go I kind of want to cover the head that might be too big of a project all right I'm not sure where exactly to stop with this flashlight cozy but maybe it's probably best not to cover the whole thing this is this is pretty good it's a full hand how important is it to go up to the button it's, would it look like it's inadequate they say this is a live oak tree it doesn't look very live Yeah, it looks painted. <clears throat> right, well, it looks like I don't need to go to Walmart so much. I could park on the side of the road just a block down from the library. Walmart's not so important, I guess. There are no crossing lights across, the, I don't even know the name of this street. So they have it set up where you can cross, but I don't think I can. I mean, it's really difficult to tell. Yeah, it's such a busy, busy intersection that they don't bother putting the uh, lights, up, the walking lights. So it wasn't too bad, I guess. All right, two massage places, and they're kind of ag aggressive. They're approaching me never seen such an aggressive massage places all right so somebody is advertising just an app on the street corner here it's safe to save that's the moniker <laughs> unless if it might have changed since you could you gotta do that you gotta advertise on the streets once again I gotta say I'm really surprised how sweet potato makes me sleepy now like like it's got melatonin but before I never I don't recall ever feeling the sleepiness I never put together sleepiness if it did occur with the sweet potato my main problem when I was younger was that it uh, felt like it's stuck in my middle burner and wouldn't move and so I would prefer squash over it because they're kind of similar squash and sweet potato the orange potato but now it's like digesting great and I'm getting sleepy extra sleepy after eating it I'm coordinating that feeling and it's like what's improving my digestion could it be me putting it in the ferment pots and that's improving the digestion I think I'm gonna get barked at here I won't be able to see anything Nope. Where? What? All right. Standards might be higher for dogs here or something. Every dog, and it's been like five, six times now, every dog that's barked at me, the fence is like six feet high. I think they, they set a standard for fence height, no matter what size, too, because the dog, there's some really tiny ankle-sized dogs, and they got six-foot fences. It uh, generally felt magical to go walk around Californian cities. Not all, most on the coast. And just look at the vegetation and see how things are uh, built together. This almost feels like being in a California city, but it's far from it. It's just, 
well taken care of. It looks really nice. <clears throat> really nice, peaceful, and safe. Uh, the culture has really fallen into a a uh, comfort zone, a really high comfort zone. It's probably what, how money speaks. So Midland is surrounded by oil wells, so a lot of this uh, infrastructure has been funded by oil extraction. Somebody can make a business out of being a professional decorator. I think I'll hang out at this library for another day. I could park here. I mean, I have to wait till the evening to see how well much it pack, gets packed up. Oh, it's unfortunate they don't have a star of the week at Jenny Craig. Uh-oh. I can't. There you go. Jenny Craig, where every step you have is a step in the right direction. Except for the clientele here. What's up? Yeah. Okay, I just want to put it on the right one because that guy who did it for you, he couldn't remove it. Oh, them. okay. Until what time? I got I got an hour. Okay. Until twelve thirty. Oh, twelve thirty now. How long have I been in here? Well, it has something to do with that. Ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, one. That's three hours. The guy put it down wrong because he thought you wanted room one twelve and that was available for four hours, but yeah. this one is only available until twelve thirty. What happened? Somebody had already had a reservation for this days ago. Before, oh, how did, okay. And he didn't pay attention to that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just uh, noticed that. Does that happen often? No, it doesn't okay. happen often. He's kind of new. Okay, all right. It's just so amazing to me to think that to get onto this road, I had to drive two miles. I couldn't just drive across the parking lot and pull into this road. Up ahead's a one-way, so I had to go around, <clears throat> and that was two miles to go around. They blocked off uh, what used to be uh, easy access, um, probably because of some kind of abuses. But this one-way up ahead really makes things difficult. I couldn't just take a left onto this road and then come onto this road to park on the side. I had to go around, and that was two miles. It's a little grassier on the other side. All right, I'm gonna just make comment on this. I, I couldn't, I can't record it. Some Mexican workers invested in some elevator that attaches to the ladder. They're roofers, so they got this ladder attached to the, this elevator. It's like a shelf attached to the ladder. And it goes up and down bringing the heavy stuff like you want a hundred pound you want a, a slab of those shingles toss it on that little elevator and it takes it right up and it goes fast too it goes like 15 miles an hour and and it's run by a motor that's kind of kind of noisy they seem to have difficulty communicating with each other all right well i think i'm gonna just try to find that library downtown and then little George Bush's childhood home on the way back. So this road, Michigan and Garfield, there's no crosswalk in, fr in front of the hospital of all places. This is no crosswalk. I'm just amazed. They have no crosswalks in front of a hospital. Is that really a sign of how few people walk around here? Pretty neat view from up here. See, that's where I came from. And then, uh oh, <laughs> somebody might see me. I'm gonna get, oh, that's a janitor. I'm gonna go down the stairs right away. They're coming, are coming at me. Okay, they were moving slowly anyway. No big deal. Let's try
pretty nice. But they could have radioed to their buddies. So getting off the property quickly, and getting on N Street as, as soon as possible. And then that's it. All right, we've got the fire department. There's a lot of reference to Permian Basin. All right, so there's not a lot of regulation at all on the side street. This is a great spot on Missouri. N or something, LM, they're using double letters. So many streets, whoa. I think I'm approaching the library pretty quickly here. And there's no regulation on parking. All right, I'm not really a vehicle for this authorized vehicles warning sign. So I'm just gonna ride on through. Uh, it's some kind of museum here. I don't know if this is the George Bush house. Wow, I didn't think they were living this good. Little George Bush's original house. Oh, and they got the gate closed up here. All right. All right, on Indiana and K. And the library is supposed to be not far from the museum. Science, this is a science center, science sphere. I think it's the building right next to the science center. Should be. They're not open, so I don't know what the deal is. You have to press. This is a library? And it's free? Well, I hit the button. They make a beep. <laughs> in this, in this busy city, in the middle, pretty much in the middle of the city, this dude can claim that they have a private well in the middle of this city. All right, just a couple of blocks from little Georgie Bush's house, hometown, a childhood home. You can see it's, it's probably vastly different today than it was back then. They, they shave these beaver tail cactuses. I don't know how well. They love to shave those beaver tails in the cities. There's probably a, a expertise, some expert who who does it for a makes a living off of shaving shaving cactus. Okay, here it is. Little George Bush's uh, childhood home. They got a big sign, kind of a fresh painting. Bathrooms. A history sign so it's I don't think it's this house it could be okay it's this one they got a big sign and you can read it little Georgie Bush's childhood home oh yeah I read that okay and then, um, I don't think you're allowed inside. Oh, there's reading on the, there's reading on the outside. <laughs> More to learn about his home. Okay, yep, there he is. Hmm. There's lights on inside. There's, there probably are people inside. Oh, they had a dog, I suppose. Oh, that's the dog house. Huh. All right.